What's good YouTube, it's Ricky Rose coming at you with a brand new video and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do the James Harden step back travel glitch. Now obviously it's not a glitch, it's just not called the travel. Well it is but they don't call it so it's just the travel glitch in a sense. But they added it into the game to the point where you can actually just spam it and just cash a whole bunch of threes depending on your archetype. Now for me, I'm a pure sharp so this works perfectly. Now, I know most of y'all are going to be like, well, it's not as useful because if you're not a pure sharp, yeah, get the fuck off the video. Get up. I nigga, just get out. I'm like, God damn. But this mainly, this is mainly for the shot creators that are cheesy as hell or the sharpshooters because in this little animation, there's a period where you can just stand still and it's an open shot and you can continue dribbling. Like, that's kind of elite and it creates so much space because it's a travel like you gotta understand that now i'm gonna break it down uh first things first i am in 2ku so i am playing with james harden himself and i found out how to do it. one of my brothers told me and what you want to do is go if you're either on the left or the right side you want to hold the analog the left analog diagonally to that side to the opposite side so if you're on the right side you want to hold the left stick diagonally upward to the left if you're on the right side vice versa if you're on the right side you want to hold the left stick upward to the right diagonally while you're running in that direction and then simply tap square or x if you're on xbox and that's it the move should be doing like it should be doing it whatever but sometimes you do get those little hop steps that just comes in between as you can see like this was my first time actually doing it when i went into the james harden's character and i was just spamming it over and over trying to do it and trying to see if it came out but it didn't come out consistently for me until i eventually got the hang of it and you have to time it precisely now keep in mind that i was mainly doing it from the three-point line so when i do it at the three-point line it pushes me back into limitless range this is why i was saying it's so op for pure sharps or regular sharps whatever the hell y'all are mixed with you can shoot limitless constantly because it's not going to be a shot creating shot unless you finish the move and you keep the momentum going but for pure sharps if you just do the move and get the the increased space from from your defender all you have to do is give it a second and just pull it's going to be a standstill jump shot keep in mind catch and shoot is not going to upgrade so you're just well it's not going to update but you are going to get limitless range depending on if you have a hall of fame or silver like playmaking sharps or whatever now in order to actually attach this to your player it is the james harden hop jumper now that's the only thing you need you do not need a ball handling it, it is simply a hop jumper and you don't have to pay any vc which is you know if it's free fuck it, you know just throw it on but like i said this move is only good in certain scenarios now for shot creators i recommend you try to do it around the free throw line and you try to trigger it but sometimes when you go to the free throw line it takes you in for a euro step or a hop step so you have to be careful make sure you like right before you about to get to the free throw line make sure that you do it because if you go too close you will just go into a layup now i did put it onto my character and my character was doing it but you got to keep in mind that the only place that i can really practice besides uh the team facility and i had to play a game i ain't feel like doing that shit so i went into my my career my my career, my, my uh court and the mic court it wasn't as big as where i was doing it with james Harden. like it wasn't a, a official full court like it was like some bullshit raggedy shit and every time i go by the half court line i literally like the screen flip so i had to keep doing it over and over and i couldn't practice as much as i wanted it to and keep in mind for those people that are planning on doing this in the in the cages you got to be careful because if you do press square too close to the cages which i was trying to do it it is going to make you hop on those little fucking launch pads whatever the fuck they're called so do be careful and before i forget if you are running forward you have to point your uh left analog either diagonally left or right whichever like you gotta put it to the opposite ball hand so if it's on the left side you do it to the right if it's on the right you do it to the left that's all you gotta do and then tap square and it should pop out 
That's all. Some people say it depends on the hand that it's in. Not necessarily. It, it kept just happening randomly for me when I was doing it with James Harden. And I couldn't really do it as often on my mic cord. But that is going to be the end of the video. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. You already know who the fuck it is, man. It's your boy Ricky Rose. And I'm out of here.